Hi there, welcome back to Andrew Channel International. I'm Andrew and today we play some more Pathfinder, Wrath of the Righteous. Let's get started because in the last episode we leveled up. Now we have a, a, a party fully at level 4. Let's have a look. Hunter's Bond. At the first level, a ranger forms a bond with his hunting companion. Yes, you hear me. We can finally uh, have uh, an animal companion. Plus, a demon slayer adds the following spells to his spells list. Protection from evil and protection from evil communal. Add that, which is fantastic. Let's continue. We can get a, a point. I am going to give a point to my dexterity. And then... We grab perception, low nature, knowledge arcana. Knowledge of the world would give me a five. Actually, I prefer to have mobility. Next one. We can have a ranger forms a bond with his companions. This bond allows him to spend a move action to grant half of his favorite leveling bonus. Uh, no, we get an animal companion. And now. Wow. Wow. We have to pick probably something that we could ride. I would really love it. And I would really need to do... I would really... Maybe a giant centipede. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, I am very tempted to get a Zmilodon because they're just extremely strong. But for the sake of role-playing and due to the fact that I don't want to power play. I think I can win also without going for the biggest and the most dangerous animal in the world. I would pick a wolf because I like it. I like the idea. And now I also have the special ability, Saddle Up, because the wolf is a creature uh, with a medium size and the halfling has a small size, so I can finally ride a wolf. Which is massive. Here we have him. Here we have him. I should have set it up, uh, set it up somewhere. Let me check. Yep. Let's put it. Let's let's put it here. I I think I can't do it here, but no 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 no. I did it. I did it, guys. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Look look at look at Arik. Uh, riding the wolf. I mean, this is just spectacular and I really was waiting for this. Now, uh, my speed can be also 10. It doesn't matter because uh, we use the speed of the wolf, of course. So, that's not that easy. Adventures await. Also, the wolf, of course, can get a level. I like normal animals of its kind. An animal companion hit dice, ability, skills and feats. Advance as the druid advances in level. In this case, it's not a druid, but you know what I mean. Um, he has evasion. I can find an aggressor, bully, bully, quarter devil, death touch, racer, wrecker. And by looking at the um, uh, class of my wolf, I can really, I can't really pick anything else than a racer, because the racer. Uh, on the contrary, uh, if we compare it to the to, the, to his master, is extremely fast, agile, and can bring the Arik wherever he wants. So, being so little and small, when he will ride his wolf, Arik will be uh, a lightning. He will be super fast, and I like the idea so much. So, we are going to give them mobility. We are going to be uh, giving also stealth. Stealth and mobility are the skills that this wolf is going to have. Uh, we can continue. Now the first feat would be weapon finesse or let me check if I can do something different here. So I want to stay in the role play and I'm going to pick improved initiative for my wolf. And I need to give it a name. Um, and I think that I know what I want to say. And here we have Crimson. Crimson is going to be the wolf of uh, our dear friend Arik. We give the second level of our racer, again mobility and stealth. Actually I'm going to open athletics also, why not? And that's that's it I would say. I am going now to take my paladin. 
She's getting Smite, Evil, and Channel Positive Energy, which is wonderful. We are going to give her actually one point in Charisma, because uh, as a Paladin, the Charisma will give a lot of advantage, so we don't need 19 in Strength, uh, 16 in Charisma is much better. Knowledge of the World, Persuasion. Use Magic Device. Okay. Now, I want to check one thing, because I think that I can use a spell for me and for my Paladin. My spell might be Resist Energy. That could be great. Magic Fang is giving to my um, Animal Companion all natural weapons and unarmed strikes of the subject gets plus one enhancement bonus. I think I'm going to get it so that uh, Crimson will have a better attack. And for her, on the other hand, I might give Blessing. The Bless is going to... It's simple, but it's also very powerful. So I think I will do that. Now let's use um, the Spirit Hunter and level her up. Her Dexterity could go to... 20 actually wow but wow well let's 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 use it two points trickery and religion and now she can get a, an x possible selection ice plant intimidating display yeah a lot of really cool things ice plant is wonderful because this x grants the shaman plus two natural armor bonus and uh, um, basically, she has this ice uh, cover, but maybe we could find something else. Lumber is very powerful, really powerful. I'm going to read them all and then decide. All right, I think that I will go for protective luck because this is lasting only one round. But in that round, whenever a creature, a friendly creature is targeted, um, every attack roll, including weapon attacks, must be rolled twice and the enemy has to take the worst result so basically we increase uh, we could increase for example the ability of sila to uh, tank or if um, one of our members is almost dead we can really try to save him so the protective luck is something that i really like uh, and i want to try and then we go for lan which is getting more key power so the mount can perform amazing feats of mystical power and acrobatic prowess. Once a key is selected, it cannot be changed. Okay, let's continue. We give him now an extra point in dexterity. So this goes to 18 as an archer. That's very important. Um, athletics, mobility, and uh, perception. Key power. Uh, we have only four key powers, Bark Skin, Scorching Ray, Sudden Speed, and True Strike. A monk with this key power can spend one point from his key as a standard action to gain temporary intuitive insight into the immediate future during his next attack. The monk next single attack roll gains a plus 20 insight bonus, additionally is not affected. So. Um, we are going to be able to strike much better. So we take the true strike without even thinking about it. And now we go I'm to here. Volif. Where else would I be? Our uh, Eldrix Crumble. He is... Uh, he might... I, I might consider giving him a constitution point, which would... Uh, uh, which would lead to some extra uh, hit points. But honestly speaking, it's better if I give him dexterity and then I try to boost him. I, I think it's better. Okay, he can learn now to level two magics. All right. All right. I would say that I need to take something that can uh, boost his uh, physical attack. So let me read it quickly. All right. So, if I want to keep Volif on the first line and I want to, him to strike uh, a deadly uh, sneak attacks, I want him to have mirror image and then I want to, uh, him to be able to cast invisibility 
turn invisible again and then maybe jump behind the back of a caster and kill it. Uh, because I think that having the possibility to sneak behind lines, getting a plus 20 bonus on stealth is just wonderful. So I give those two um, spells and then I have new abilities like hampering injury, debility injury, bewildering injury. Those. Uh, this means that a rogue, whenever deals a snake attack to a foe, can debilitate the target, causing for one round, for example, disoriented, minus two penalty on attack rolls, and so on. I really like this. I am going to give him disorientation as a as a as a skill. And now we take the stigmatize witch, Ember. Ember should improve her charisma, so she goes to 18. Knowledge Arcana, Persuasion, Magic Devices, actually this is not very useful. Let's take Lore, Knowledge of the World maybe, why not? And she can get a new Hex, that's not bad at all, but I'm not going to have the protective luck as we have done with Camellia, but, and actually speaking, I really want to give healing also to Ember, because I believe that uh, at a certain point I will remove Camellia from the party and I still need someone that can heal the party. Uh, I need I can also pick a spell of uh, on the second level. Here I have to keep in mind that I want to use Ember as uh, the healer of the group. So I would start with Cure Moderate Wounds and then the more we continue the more I will um, give her... Probably later we will give her uh, something also offensive, but for the time being, I think that moderate wounds is the way to go. Healing and cure moderate wounds. Okay, now we go to the spell book because we have to give some new spells. I think that we never use sleep. Um, I'm going to delete sleep next time when I when uh, when I will have the chance. I'm going to give cure, and here. I'm gonna give another boost strength, yeah, why not? Why not? Invisibility mirror image. No reason to pause. What if I bless the weapon? One minute per level, the weapon in your primary hand is treated as magic for the purpose of overcoming damage reduction. The weapon also becomes good aligned. All right. Yeah, I think I think to have, I think that blessing the weapon is much better uh, than using that thing. You're now, I like you. can you heal Arik? At the same time, I ask Camellia to heal Arik. Yes. Now we have we have basically two healers, which is uh, really good. It's very good. Having two casters now, we are we are healing very fast. That's wonderful. Okay, good. Now, you, my little friend, always stay on crimson. And now the sp the speed is the speed is just fantastic. <laughs> I I have no I have no words. I have no words. Crimson has, has a speed of 60 against the speed of 10 of... Uh, come on. This is my path. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Okay, here there is a house. And I think I know what's inside this house, you know. This fire was no accident. It looks like the work of a Brimorak, a pyromaniac demon. So, we have um, a demon inside here, which is... Uh, we, we love to set everything on fire. Let's say that. A bright future awaits us. Well. Let's give the strength uh, to Sila. Something wrong. 
And let me check here if I can do something also. Nope, everything looks fine. Let's get inside. Now what I want to do, I want to try to go into stealth mode. And move my wolf on. Okay, they, they immediately saw us. So, we have a Dredge, we have an Abrikandiru. A second Dredge. A second Abrikandiru, Wrecker. And in round one, Camellia can cast Protective Luck on uh, uh, Arik. Because it's kind of exposed. Wolif could go out, go out and attack this stretch right away. Them for me. Sneak attack. And he is also... Wow. He's also now affected uh, by some things. Now, let me quickly see if I can give to my... Yeah, to my wolf the ability Acrobatic. But uh, not really. I, I would avoid. I, I would try to kill this thing here. Yep. But I don't see the other demon, to be honest. Okay. Now, LAN. One. And two. This is done. Ember could try to use Slumber on this Abracadabra. Well done. Which means... Here we go. This is the Brimorak. This is the Brimorak. Why... Ah, okay. I was thinking, why is not uh, actually uh, triggering an attack of opportunity, right? Uh, cannot attack him. Why? Why not? I don't know. Okay, now the Abricandiru stands up. It's Camellia's turn. Let's cast Protective Luck on Scylla. Or maybe we can try to hold the person. No, not really. That's not going to happen. Uh, let's uh, let's let's uh, uh, enlarge Scylla. Let's attack the Brimorak right now. So. Ah, but this was Wolf. Okay. Oops. Arik. One, two, three. Now we have three attacks because we have the wolf. And somehow, I don't understand what happened. Crimson Crimson uses combat maneuver trip against Primorak. And I, I think that we just throw him on the ground, which is wonderful. So Lan can try with the uh, uh, with the bow to strike. Missing. Ember can now try to make the other Abricalo sleep. Let's see. It worked. It worked. So the Rimorak stands up, but is killed by the attack of opportunity. No. <coughs> Scylla is cutting in half this other poor guy. Okay, I remember this fight much more difficult, but apparently my part is getting strong, so... Cover me, all right? Not bad. Forward. Not bad. Okay. Let's save this. What's that? Oh, we have a shimiter here. We have a signet house of Vespertilio. Once per day, the owner of this token can choose any skill and rub this token to get plus five circumstance bonus. Wow, well, for an hour, really. I mean, yeah, it's written, so um, I might consider giving it to uh, my main character. I don't know. I could do whatever I like with this, now I think. Uh, let's, let's disable the trap. And then I want to check the... I, I want to check... Piece of holy symbol. Okay. I want to check the shimiter now. Abrupt force. Once per round, whenever this plus one cold iron scimitar 
lands a hit, the target must pass a fortitude saving throw be uh, or become stunned for a round. Uh, this is not a small one, though. This is a uh, one handed. Pity that only Scylla could use it. No, it's not. It's not worth. It's not worth. Let's go to the street now. Yep. Do we have a chance to use the level 2? No, not yet. But we can cure the wounds. And Ember shows that she's really strong. Okay, I think... Um, I think that I have to go back. Because I, I have the impression that basically I have explored everything. This is my ex impression at least. But I have no idea where the zombies are. Um, tsk, Jesus, he's so fast. No, not here. Not here. I need to go back, uh, go up again. You know, I, I came back here somehow, but I have no idea how to... How to go back to the other side. Let's move. It seems really that I have explored all this area. Okay, give me a moment. Okay, let's use a mobility check. Now we are on the other side. Or maybe not. We are not. Because we failed the mobility check, okay. Who's doing this? Okay, succeed. And now we are on the other side, right? Yeah. Now we are on the main main square of all right here there was a temple that we have already visited I really need to, to remember because I think this area this area was not explored and also this area somehow Mosquitoes and centipede. Okay, uh, our group is kind of here and there, but I think we will manage. Make every strike count. <laughs> Did you see that? They will break against well, it was, that was very simple. New round. Savvy or Zappy? Why not both? Too late for apologies. <sighs> wow. But they're always more. They keep popping up. Uh -huh. Okay. I give protective luck to Scylla. And I, 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 look, at, look at this. Look at the kind of a charge that now I am allowed to do. Which she, he, he, this is something crazy. This is something crazy. I, by mistake, uh, um, use the light of the angels, but it doesn't really matter. Distract them for me. Okay. Just 
just understand. Yeah, 23 we have. You are today's sacrifice. We will <laughs> this is fantastic, isn't it? You won't survive me. No glory Wonderful. Okay. Let's stick together now. Let's move. Can go here down. And now up. Here there is a sixth citizen. And I think that we are back to... Yeah, we're back at the entrance. We're back to the entrance, yeah. That's, a, that's the area that we explored at the very beginning. Let's go back. This is an area that we didn't explore yet. And I'm very curious. Here there is a sort of temple. No, actually we did explore here. I think we just cut till we reach the zombies. And here we are. I believe that uh, I am in position. So, I think that I will just initiate... Here we go. We just initiate the fight and when the shadow are there now we have much more uh, weapons and we are much stronger so i think that we can uh, defeat them easily now at least i hope i really hope the inheritor guide my blade okay Okay, Camilla is giving the protective luck to Sela. And then she moves just a little bit. Uh, and stop. Then Lan will start striking the zombies with the arrow. And my dear friend will also jump on the, in the first line in the middle of the battle. And sword, sword, bite. He, it's a fury. He, he's a fury now. This character has been the weakest of the party till now, and now it's absolutely strong. Absolutely strong. Okay, now we have Amber. Amber could actually uh, position herself in order to cast uh, the fire, but not yet. You won't stop us. Wolif just but goes in the on the first line and uses the, uh, the the dagger. I can't see the I can't see any shadow yet. Okay, they are popping out now. You see that here. Sela. We don't use yet the positive energy. Now the shadows are are here. We keep casting protective luck on uh, Sela. Lan can focus on the zombies. Wonderful. And now we use some of our strength and we go back with crimson stop so it's amber's turn okay um let's get now close to them and let's use the fire something like this will work and it works fantastic Look, uh, okay, we basically killed all the zombies, not only the shadows remain, but one shadow, a lesser shadow, is almost dead. What if can use then a magic missile on a shadow? 
which is great. And the other one is coming right now. Sela is now channeling the positive energy, right? Okay, the positive energy is actually only healing uh, my group. Only, I mean, that's very important, but uh, that's not working as I expected. Um, I'm taking now the heavy crossbow. Ghost touch spirit and uh, uh, blah blah blah, and we strike here. Look at this. Now, Camellia with the ghost spirit and the magic uh, crossbow can kill. I'm afraid that Lan cannot. Not at all. I have to check if Crimson can do something. Yeah, something, yes, with the sword, but not so much. So, Amber. Uh, we'll use a um, uh, Divine Zap then. I think that's. I think that this is the best way. It, we have four. Oh man, it's bad. Cover me, all right. Mm -mm. What if unfortunately cannot strike? Sila must consider. Wow. The inheritor, guide my blade. Not really. So Camellia, again, let's see what we can do. I'll cut you wide open. Miss. Mm. You won't survive me. Ah, oh, man. No, 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 no. Look at this. In order to win the shadows, I have to do something different. I have to do something different. They are still very strong. They're still very strong at this difficulty level. There's nothing I can do. It's not that I just attack and I win. No, 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 no. It's not like this. Ask nicely. Yeah. Oh, here we have some. Actually, I, I didn't consider this, but we have a lot of magic that we can use, right? Indeed, we have. I think that this magic missile will help. Something wrong. Let's continue. Cover me, all right. Let's just attack them and kill them. Already? Let's kill them all. Stab you or zap you? Why not both? Oh man. The light. Take you. Very good. So Camellia will switch already and strike the zombie first, then the shadow of course. Lan needs to attack the zombies from here. That's very well. Okay. Now the two little guys. Which are fading. <laughs> which are fading very bad. And now we have the shadows coming down. Alright. So, what if needs to do a step back? Tactical retreat. Yeah, tactical no. retreat. And we start striking this, uh, striking this shadow. Sila. We kill the zombie. She manages. So Camellia takes now the ghost spirit, the sacred weapon or whatever, and let's hope that it works. Three damage, not bad. Mm 
Okay, land on the zombie. And the lesser is coming. All right, so. Okay. Ember with fire. Unfortunately, I'm going to eat also my uh, group unless I don't step, do two step back, two steps back. And now I'm not getting all uh, the the shadow either, right? No, I do. I can. Wonderful. What if? There is the lesser shadow here. Distract them from me. Immune, immune. I lost it. Fight defensively. So let's use the channel positive energy damage and that. All right, all right. That's that looks already much better. Before I did it wrong, you know. You are today's sacrifice. Shit. Yeah, I just did it wrong because I I healed my group instead. Well done. So, can I take a scroll? Can I take a scroll somehow? Yeah, I could, but... Let's leave it away. Let's take uh, a Divine Zap and use it here. One damage okay and Sillar is to die now but I can finally take this magic missile this is this will be killed by uh, Ember what if strikes this one four damage okay Oh, we've been lucky. Go for their hearts. Kind of. Okay. Okay, now we have only two shadows. Uh, I don't think that Arik can do anything, but let's try. Actually, yes, he can. Uh, he performed. He actually delivered two points of damage. Fantastic. And now Ember again. Takes the divine sap, and she should be able to kill this one here. And it's done. Wow. Okay. Now we have Volif, which is going to take the scroll. Another two damage. And now Sila. Nothing. All right. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> At the very last turn. When I was able to kill the last shadow, Sila decides to die. And ladies and gentlemen, even if my party is full level 4, this combat is crazy. I can't win it. Let's see. Probably we'll try next time. I thank you for watching. I had a lot of fun playing this um, episode. But as always, I keep the last uh, most difficult combat at the end and i will use the chance to redo it next time just because i don't want to spend the money to um bring back to life Scylla and, and that's it i know that i have to um to scale of the dragon but i i want i just like to do it better i hope you will understand thank you for watching see you next time